guys, it's Andrea, and welcome to Wear Your Own on Your Sleeve. I uh, hope everybody's doing all right today. Um, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, number four video. Um, I've actually got something going on today that um, it's going to be more of an experiment day. So I'm going to be attempting uh, my deconstructed bloom. I have it on an 11 by, or 12 by 20, I think. Um, anyway, my pouring medium today, which is normally the Bare 8300, with the Josanya a three to one, uh, sometimes two, two and a half to three to one, um, Josanya varnish or um, polycrylic, uh, whichever one you can get a hold of. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. I was watching Karen from Waterfall Acrylics um, because she definitely is my hero when it comes to deconstructed blooms. And um, she mentioned something that I thought was really interesting. Uh, she said, she was trying a different pouring medium because uh, the combination she usually uses, which is what I use, the cells get a little wonky and melt. And I thought, wow, because just a week prior to that, I was saying the same thing that sometimes that happens. So her pouring medium recipe is what I'm going to use today. Um, it calls for no varnish. Now, when I say no varnish, um, usually the pouring medium is made with the bear and the, the polycrylic or Josanya. This time... The, the pouring medium is only Berry 300 and Valspar Ultra Base C High Gloss. That is another untinted house paint. I think Jody Flynn from uh, Painted the Painted Dreamer uses that with a combination of polycrylic. So she uses those at a one to one ratio. Uh, that's it. And then and the the Valspar is actually really thin compared to the other stuff. So it's not going to be some little goopy thick. It actually is, is pretty nice consistency. Now, we'll be using some varnish uh, to disperse pigments, seeing as I'm using mostly pigments today. So, same rule applies that you disperse them with a little varnish, polycrylic Josanya, and then add the pouring medium. So, it's getting very little varnish as opposed to before. Now, any two paints or fluid won't be getting any unless it needs to be thinned out. Then, it's... This right here, um, it's Joa. They call uh, she calls it. It's Josanya one third and um, water two thirds to thin out. So very little varnish in this. So it's going to be interesting to see if the cells are different. Anyway, let's get started. And um, so I have my Multi Pro Glidden Multi Pro PPG Multi Pro in eggshell as my base. Um, Probably put a little bit too much on again. I'm still trying to kind of play with that. Um, my colors today, I'm pretty much using all pigments. I think maybe two are not. Um, <laughs> so I'll give you the rundown. And plus, I'll have it all in my description box for you. Um, so anyway, my first color is going to be Nicolay's of Gold. And this is by Golden. Um, it's actually golden and a little vivid intense, the, the liquid. Um, golden was super thick so and then I have to tell you be honest I had a little bit of my Zeus left over you know that really nice TLP pigment and I kind of added that in there to give it a little shimmer so what we're going to do is we're going to start laying down our colors now when you do a deconstructed bloom you want to put the blooms toward the center not like one here and one here because you're going to be spinning them off you kind of want them more toward the middle so when you do start tilting, you've got room to play and not lose everything. So um, we'll see if this comes out. So um, this is all still learning for me too. So yeah, we're going to start off with this color because I just, yeah, I love Nicolazo Gold. It's like my, I love it almost as much as I love purple. Wait a minute, did I just say that loud? <laughs> So I'm actually going to put a lot on here today, like make the blooms a little bigger. Um, yeah, so why not? We're just playing around. We'll see if it works out. Um, if not, we'll try and make something of it. Now, this is that um, yellow. Uh, this is actually Sunburst by Color Art, and it's also that yellow um, by I Candy at Kyoko. <laughs> Don't ask me. I should have wrote it down. It's that same yellow I used in number two. <laughs> I will have it in the description box, I promise. <laughs> okay, this is Blue Blood by Eye Candy. This is, and then I did add a little iridescent, Pebio iridescent blue black to this. 
um, yeah, just to give it a little extra bling. Not that eye candy needs it. I, I don't know. There's something about Nicolizo and um, and blues. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just it's it's stunning. Okay, this one is by Vivid Intense. This is um, um, Indigo Blue Black. So that's by Vivid Intense. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. I don't want to overwhelm this either. Could have probably thinned this out a little more. I think I'm going to do that. See, I'll just show you here, the dispersing the Joa. It's a little too goopy for my liking. Yeah, that's a little better. You just want it to be able to one-up the spoon, not in big gobs. Yeah, could still be a little thinner, but that's okay. This next one here is a combination custom color eye candy of Pacific Blue and Dark Ocean Blue. I was trying to mimic um, the waterfall from TLP. I tell you, eye candy is phenomenal. I mean, the amount you get for the price is like unbelievable. And if you guys are interested in purchasing any eye candy, you can click on to uh, a good friend of mine, Creations by Christy, Christy Connolly. Her video, <clears throat> might want to watch her videos, they're amazing. Um, in her description box, she has a link, I think, for 10% off. She's an affiliate for eye candy. Um, oh, by the way, this is Rainbow Green by eye candy. I'm talking about that, and I forgot to tell you about the, the colors. Yeah, so she's an uh, affiliate of eye candy, so if you want to... Save 10%. Click on watch her video too if you get a chance. Um, and then click on her description box and you will find it there. Um, and you can save yourself 10%. Plus, the prices are insanely amazing for the amount of pigment you get. And they're blingy, like, oh my god. All right, last but not least, this is 24 karat gold by eye candy. Yep, this is. This is a nice color. Yeah, this is a lot of paint. We're going to be making one big, big bloom here. So I feel like playing today. I don't know. Just, I'm not going for like, oh my God, I have to make a masterpiece. Uh, if I do, great. But I'm just playing because this really is an experiment. So, okay. Cell Activator is Payne's Gray by Amsterdam at a 3 to 1 ratio. And I snuck in some TLP Macaw interference. Uh, it's like a blue-green interference. You can actually see the shimmer in the light. I don't know if you can see that. I have hair in my hand here. I'm shedding. Ha <laughs> um, Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. But, oh, it's just gorgeous. So, we're going to put a dollop of that right in the center. Okay. And then we're going to blow this, as I say, bad boy out and see what happens. Um, There we go. We've got some of that yellow shown through that nickel laser. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's pretty. That's really pretty. <laughs> Okay, let's get the other one down here. And we're gonna do the same order. Um, guys, I'm seeing this like pouring mediums like really 
working pretty good. The cells are like really um, holding together. They're actually like really uh, crisp. I don't know if you want to call it that. They're just really pronounced. I'm really loving this. Or I'm digging this. <laughs> Can you dig it, baby? This is the part that always gets me is I have to still learn how to deconstruct properly because I don't, I don't know, there's just ways to tilt it and sometimes I just don't tilt it right. I, I tilt it where I shouldn't at first and so I've been really watching and studying carefully how she does it. I mean, she makes it look so easy, like unreal. Wow. Guys, I'm I'm really digging this. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll have the dry results. I might have this video come up before I do, but I'll always have the dry results if, in the next video if I don't have it at the end of this video. Oh, this, I didn't realize how blingy this gold is. It's like, oh my gosh. If you guys could only see this, like as I'm putting, it's just total sparkles. Crazy beautiful. Okay, and another little dollop of my... Cell activator. Now, what I'm going to do before I do that is I probably should have done this before. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. Just when I blow dry that it's going to... Okay, that's ready. We might do another small one over here. Let's blow this out quick. Okay. Okay. All right. This is messy. This is messy. Trying to let those cells develop. Definitely want it to go off of here. Okay, and back to the middle. Back to the middle. Now we're going to have it come over on this side. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I'm, I'm trying to... Get this. Yeah, it's a good thing I put the pillow because it is moving a lot easier. Okay. Back to the middle. That guy down there has not moved. <laughs> he may not move, which, um, okay, we'll see what happens. All right, so now we're back to the middle. So let's see if we can spin some of this off. I kind of like what's going on here. I'm trying to get this part back down a little bit. And let's see if we can kind of get this and do it slow. Do it slow. Now I just gotta go to me. Let's see if it's doing it. Oh, it's starting to move. It's starting to move. Yay. I think we got to spin it a couple more times and then we can call it good. Uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, I think we can call that a winner for the, the pouring medium. <clears throat> but... Uh, the true results uh, will speak for themselves when um, it dries. So, yeah, we'll have to see how it dries. And I don't know, guys, what do you think? Do you like it? 
I love the colors. I just love, love the colors. It's almost like a cell right there. It's not even a bubble. Um, yeah, we think. I I think it turned out. Huh, I think it turned out stunning actually. Um, but like I said, oh my gosh! And I don't know. I'm gonna hold this up if you guys can see that the shimmer on the gold there. Look at that. Look at the shimmer on that. That's just crazy. Yeah, there's my little boo boo. But we're gonna we won't even know he's there. What do you think? So yay. I mean the pouring medium works without the varnish. Like like I shouldn't say no varnish, but like the little tiny bit that you use to mix it up with the um, the pigments. Yeah, I'm happy with this so far, so good. And my cells seem like a lot nicer. Um we'll see how it goes. But anyway, guys, well that will do me, um, do us. So I'm glad uh you guys were able to come and watch. So guys, it was awesome. And so listen, if you like what you just learned and saw, um, please, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it means a lot to me because I, I'm going to continue bringing videos. And the more people that, that want to watch and like it, I mean, it just, it makes me really happy that I can, I could do this. Um, and I also want to learn from you guys. So, you know, if you have any comments, you know, anything you'd like to share or add, please, please leave it in the comment box below. Um, hit the like button and notification bell so you can be reminded when this goofy girl comes back on <laughs> doing another video. Little Miss Gabby Gabs. I look so forward to seeing you guys uh, next time and until then, peace out and I will see you when I see you guys.